You're not Radriar. <laughs> I rule this land now, Alsar. In the name of the true king of the Deathless. My name is Cyrus. Alsar the Vile no longer exists. <laughs> not for long, anyway. Hi, this is Mark from Pocket Gamer. Earlier in the week, Chair Entertainment hijacked Apple's iPhone 5S keynote to unveil Infinity Blade 3, the final game in this hack and slash series, and a hotly anticipated game for anyone who loved the first two Infinity Blade games. We've had our hands all over it, and here is what we thought. So the combat is going to feel very familiar to anyone who's played these games before. You carefully dodge, parry and block incoming attacks, and then when a window opens, you slash your giant enemy monster to pieces with a flurry of touchscreen swipes. It's maybe a little long in the tooth now, but it's still a thrill, and you'll be on the edge of your seat in some of the harder battles, especially when you know that if you fail, you're going to be sent right back to the start of the chapter. Well, for boss fights anyway, normal enemies let you retry when you die, which kind of feels like it's going against the whole Infinity Blade ethos. It's not a complete rehash, of course. There are new enemy types to fight, including a pesky dragon, new play styles. Uh, Isa, a different character you can play as a female sort of assassin chick, uh, plays with knives and has a jolly great spear. And while you've still got an enormous shop filled with weapons, armor, and items, it has more RPG-like elements than ever before. You can upgrade your stats and unlock special skills. You can finish objectives to unlock tokens, that sort of thing. The game has a bit more of a typical structure now. There's a world map where you can choose which missions to take on, and eventually you'll be able to use that map to play Trials, which are solo tests of skills to unlock goodies, Clash Mobs, where you work alongside thousands of other players, and Tournaments, where you compete to post the best score. That map is accessed from the hideout, which acts as a hub area for you to interact with a handful of different characters. Here you'll meet people like the merchant who sells you special items, and the potion maker, who turns found ingredients into yummy drinks that boost your stats, as long as you're willing to wait for the timers. Infinity Blade 3 lays on the story thick and heavy. There are long, convoluted cutscenes with loads of references and characters that mean nothing to me, and I've finished both Infinity Blade games. It has ubiquitous voice actor man Troy Baker in the leading role, and loads of other deathless, sword-wielding knights who yabber on and on about all sorts of things. From what we've played, Infinity Blade 3 is going to be a worthy ending to this series. It's simply bigger than its predecessors, polished to a fine sheen and filled with content. Though I can't help but wish that Chair tried something a little bit different, a little bit more ambitious for this Cyrus Swan song. We will keep playing though, so look out for a full review when Infinity Blade 3 hits the App Store next week on September 18th.